the spiritual or the virtues or the natural. If I don't use this terminology as spiritual or the virtues, we can stand firmly on the ground of the way our nature is. We can stand. Stand. So therefore, this teach, teaching Dharma known as in a Tibetan Chu job. So it is correcting and a protective means. So Buddha gave this teaching from age 35 to age 82 or 81. And that whole teaching is divided into three groups that you all know. And those are known as the three turning will of Dharma. Three turning will of Dharma, great master Umjiba said in his teachings that <clears throat> from age 35 till age 82, he gave the first turning will of Dharma, or mainly the first turning will of Dharma that he gave from age 35 to age 82, sorry, sorry, 42. And from age 43 to age 72, he gave the teachings, second turning will of Dharma. Is he gave the second turning will of Dharma. And from age 80, 73 to 82, that great master Gunkiba said 782. So he gave the teachings on the third turning will of Dharma. So that entire teaching of the Buddha Shakta Muni that we heard so many times, 84,000 of the teachings, or 12 excellent teachings, and all that can be summarized into within these three, three, three that he spoke, that teachings. That all teachings are, teachings is correcting us from the, the negative habit patterns that spoil and make mess to ourselves, to the others, at the same time protecting Ourself to the continually going from wrong directions. That is all entire teachings of that. These teachings are also, if we go a little more, uh, a little bit more kind of specifically, and that the first teaching is not teachings mainly teachings on the first turning is the teachings mainly on the Vinaya teachings. Vinaya teaching is what? Vinaya teaching is teachings on the morality and karma and the cause and the effect. Cause and the effect teachings. So Buddha gave morality teachings. Buddha gave teachings on the karmas. So that we cannot fail down to the wrong karmas, evil karmas. Buddha could also give the teachings on the cause and effects. What we will see in this world, there's nothing is not coming from the cause. And we like to have the good result, good fruit, effect. We should be smart to the cause, good cause. Thinking of the good result, performing the bad, bad or the bad cause, never going to come. That is pulling, 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 F O fooling. F O O L, right? Yes. F O O L I N G. We are fooling ourselves. Be smart with the cause. And we like to be good result, good effect. So, Buddha gave extensive teachings on the cause and effect. <clears throat> These teachings are known as mainly teachings on the, as he said, Vinaya teaching, but content of Vinaya teaching is mainly all that, all morality teaching. Karma, cause and effect teaching, all that known as, as, as morality teachings. When I teaching, it all when I teaching, and karma and cause and effect teachings are then known as karma, or sorry, so morality teachings. Morality, many things. And then Buddha gave teachings on this, this one. From the teachings from 80, uh, 42 to the 7, uh, from 43 to the 7, 72 teaching is the second turning well of Dharma. That teaching is known as mainly teachings on the 
concentrations, meditations, meditations teachings. So giving more detailed teachings on the meditations and concentrations teachings. And third turning wheel of Dharma, that is teachings known as the Abhidharma teachings. It is a, mainly it is teachings on the wisdoms, wisdom teachings. So now again, if we look, look more, I'm sure many of you heard this. Buddha's teaching can be also divided into two groups. Those are known as philosophical systems. These teachings are known as definitive teachings, interpretable teachings. Definitive teachings. Definitive teachings. Definitely, I think. Definitely. In a debate, in the say, Nidum and Tangum. Yedu means definite teachings. Tangdu means interpretable or changeable teachings. So Buddha gave the teachings. So therefore again, interpretable and definite teachings. This interpretable, uh, inter uh, interpretable teaching, teaching is mainly the first turning wheel of Dharma is interpretable teachings. Second turning wheel of Dharma is completely definite teachings. Definite teachings. Third turning wheel of Dharma is mixtures. Definite teachings, interpretable teachings. So that one. And now again think of what that means, interpretable and definite. Interpretable means it's not always that way. It can be changed. It can be changed. And the law of karma, cause and effect can change. Not always the same. Same thing. Morality also can shift things, can change. And karma can be changed. It's not always the same thing. There, for example, good karma and bad karma. And so also good karma can be developed, become good and good and good. And bad karma become bad and bad, bad too. I mean, all that is known as it's inter interpretable teachings. And definite teachings, such as a second turning well of Dharma, is definite teachings. That means it cannot change. Exactly as it is. What that is, that is for example the great teachings on the great emptiness. Emptiness cannot be changed, cannot be shifted. Moved. It is as it is, it is. There remains the same thing. Always. Emptiness. The absolute truth. Exactly as it is. And then third turning well of Dharma is messages. Third turning well of Dharma, Buddha give teachings on the particular teachings on the on the clarity of the emptiness. Clarity of the emptiness. Emptiness is not blank emptiness. Emptiness is full of the energy, vibration, or full of energy. I should not say vibration. The clarity, full of, of the energies. Energies. And such as then, what is that? Buddha nature, our own nature of the mind. It's not just only empty, it has all beautiful qualities. Together with the, with the empty mind. Mind, that cannot be changed. That remains the same nature, not changed. And then also Buddha gave in the third twenty well of Dharma, gave the teachings on the on the karmas. A lot of teachings on the karmas, a lot of teachings on the pure land, a lot of teachings on the heavens, heavens, a lot of teachings on the hell realms. All those things, those all teachings are related to can be changed, moved, changed. So therefore, it's called uninterpretable teachings. That is the frame of the teaching generally. Yes. Now, this Heart Sutra is what? Heart Sutra is the second turning wheel of Dharma. Second. It is teachings on the definitive as of the Definitive teachings. Teachings on the emptiness. Emptiness teachings. So that's how this teaching is. This teaching also how how Buddha gave the teaching. I mean, generally how how Buddha 
what Buddha, when he Buddha gave the teaching, what, how he taught or gave the teachings. There is about three different ways the Buddha gave teachings or expound the teachings. Those are teachings are known as, as Buddha spoke directly by himself, directly teaching that spoke directly by him, teaching that come by the blessings, teaching that give the authority or the permissions and permissions. So those are the three different channels Buddha give the teachings. And Buddha direct his own word or teaching, teaching give the directly his own word. Well, that is, this is very famous renowned sutra of Pandyaparamata Sutra known as Do Dupa in Sanskrit, Setsaya Gatha. Setsaya. S N T S sorry, sorry. S A N T S A. I think that's a rough name. Setsaya, Setsa, not Setsaya, Setsa Gatha. The, uh, gatha is uh, G A T H A. Setsa Gatha. So that is Buddha give directly that teaching from the beginning till end. The whole things Buddha give the teachings. But generally Buddha's teaching has also many times dialogues and so forth. But this has just from the beginning till end he give them all teachings. So that is directly his spoken teaching examples. There's many, many others too. But generally, of course, even dialogue teaching is Buddha's teaching too. Teaching that. So, but all that. And the second teaching is known as the blessed teachings. Teaching that comes by blessings. And bless, teaching that comes from the blessings, that means teaching that comes from the blessings of the body, Buddha's body. Teaching that comes from the speech of the Buddha. Teaching that comes from the blessing of the Buddha's mind, or what's the mind. Teaching that comes from the blessings of the Buddha's body, there is sutra known as Dodi Sakjipa, sutra of the tenth Bhumi. That sutra, Buddha, in the teaching said, Buddha put his hand, hand over the head of the Bodhisattva known as Dodi Himko. He put that head over that Buddha, and that moment, this Bodhisattva had great, received great blessings and open his wisdom and give that teaching of the Dodi Sakyapa or Ten Bhumi Sutra teaching. That give that there. there. So that is the examples of the Sutra that comes of blessings of the by the body. And the Sutra that comes from the blessings of the speeches. In the Adya Shatra, the very famous king who was <coughs> later become very devoted, but at the beginning of the time he was uh, influenced by the Devadatta and become very kind of like, con contagious or, or very con what's called very challenges. And so the father was so devoted to the Buddha, but he liked to make the opposite, kind of against the with father and therefore again like to against the with Buddha. Buddha that. But later, and because of due to all those reasons, he killed his father. 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 After his father died, after a while, in the teaching said that one time his son, his son got, uh, uh, what's called? Big abscess. pompous. Abscess. 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 Abscess on his son got big abscess on his head. His son is now really so painful and crying and all that. And of course, they give him medicine and all that. So then he, the Ajay Shatra be so worried about his son. Son, and should do this. So his mother came there. And now, of course, his widow, 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 widow came today. And he, so, that, so she saw her grandson is experiencing. And so then he's worried. He's, her son, who is Adya Chatra, is worried and sad and all that. And then she's told to her son, the Adya Chatra, said, Don't worry, this is the kind of your family has this, this, uh, these sicknesses. Your family, you had that same thing too when you were young. 
you had it, so it won't be too, too bad. It won't go too long. It just will happen that it happened. So you had that. And then he said, I had that, that this sickness is? He said, yes, you had that sickness. You have, you got that upset. So then, said, when you, she, mother said, when you got that upset, came father was so much worried, worried and sad. And this upset, came father sobbed his own mouth, mm -hmm. own mouth. And my father did that to me? He said to mother, yes, that's, that's how he worried and he did his own. Too. And then he felt so sad that I killed him. And this immediately kind of, then he kind of remember all that. So he was such a, such a sad and a grief, grief. And also, of course, he did the big obscurations, bad karma. So when he died, then he became very devoted to the Buddha Chakramani. And then he came to the Buddha. So Buddha gave Manjushiri, told to Manjushiri, Shiri, please put a fire. The obscuration of the obscuration and karma of of Ajahnatras. By saying that, then Manjushiri gave sutra known as clearing away the the uh, the bad karma of Ajahnatras. That sutra gave. So that is one of the leading examples of the the blessed by the speech and the Manjushiri give the teachings. That Adi Chatra, oh sorry, the Jopasarundo, Majidu Jopasarundo, that's the intimate, that which is the conscious. Then examples of the most mind blessings, blessings, this heart sutra is one of the leading examples of the blessed by the most mind by the Buddha, and through that all kind of ripple effect came one after another. And it, it, that blessing to the Chenese, our local and that immediately applied to the Shariputra, and then all this teaching came. So these are the examples of the of the of uh, of the Western mind blessings of that. So that is how this teaching teaching came. And so 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 that is really about how this teaching come from now. And then now about the Heart Sutra. Heart Sutra 